Hello, I'm Matt Greenwald. I'm attending the Society of Actuaries meeting in Chicago, and I'm here to present the results of the Risks and Process of Retirement study with Anna Rappaport. This study has been funded by the Society of Actuaries, and actually this is the sixth uh, survey we've done biennially since 2001. And I'd like to make seven key points from the study we uh, will present at the meeting today. Uh, number one, well, well, first is background. We've surveyed uh, 1,600 people ages 45 to 80. And we have found first that among retirees, people who retired, concern about many risks uh, that people face in retirement has gone to record levels in 2011. Concern about long-term care, <coughs> concern about health care, concern about inflation for retirees has reached record levels. And it's our sense that the duration of this downturn and also the downturn of the housing market has really led to the highest level of concern among people who are retired. Uh, for many of them, their house is their main uh, value and it's worth less than they expected it to be. For pre-retirees, concern about these risks in retirement has also gone up, but has not reached the level of 2003. 2003 was the first survey we did after 9-11. Uh, a 2001 survey was done just before that. And as you recall, 2003, there was also the downturn in the equity market, which affects pre-retirees more than retirees. But in general, we found that concern is higher. Now, in 2011, concern with the equity markets has reduced from where it was in 2009. We no longer have Dow 6500. There's been recovery. But interestingly, concern about inflation has gone up. We're in a low uh, period of inflation, purposely low, but among people 45 to 80, there's an expectation that inflation will rise, and they're worried about that. Fourth, the reaction to these concerns about risks in retirement seems to be to do two things, try to save more and try to work longer. It, it does not include, for most people, use risk-sharing mechanisms that really it would be um, very valuable for people at close to retirement, in retirement, to use. More on that later. We ask people if they expect to re retire who, who are working now, and one in three say retirement will not apply to them. Um, they expect to continue working for two main reasons. They want to be engaged, but also 45% say they can't afford to retire. Among those, those who do plan to retire, most plan to work in retirement. The next point in the survey that I think is, is particularly important is the short planning cycle that people have, relatively short. Uh, among pre-retirees, only one in five thinks 20 years into the future. But of course, if you are, have a life expectancy longer than that, and even if you don't, if your life expectancy is 20 years, but there's a 50% chance you live longer, thinking longer term is important. And also related to that is um, that people in retirement tend to, under, tend to underestimate their life expectancy. Interestingly, people who are working um, are not bad in knowing how long they can be expected to live, but as people get to the older ages, there's a lack of knowledge about how long older people can work. And then finally, I want to relate one key finding from our survey. We asked people to protect yourself financially. Have you or do you plan to eliminate all your consumer debt? Uh, almost all people say yes. Try to save as much as you can. Nine in 10 pre-retirees say yes. Cut back on spending, almost all say yes. Buy an annuity, it's half that. Postpone taking Social Security, less than half. So using risk sharing mechanisms is not something that most people um, uh, you know, n really know how to do to protect themselves financially. Overall, I think there's some interesting issues that these, these, this survey raises um, uh, for actuaries. There's heightened concern about the risks in retirement. How can we translate that concern into using mechanisms of risk sharing that will, that will protect people uh, more in their retirement? That's the challenge, and I think that's a challenge that's especially pertinent to actuaries.